hasn't been all that bad for emerging markets. I mean, since June, the MSCI is up 10%. Do you see these gains holding? It, it looks like it. The fundamentals are good. The economies are generally recovering. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen on the global basis. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in Europe. We don't know what's going to happen in Europe, but thing, uh, sorry, in the United States, but things look better. But more importantly, in emerging markets themselves, I definitely think things are looking better. And of course, a lot of people are going to be looking at China, which has been uh, a big driver of the global economy. Um, how confident are you that its economic growth will hold up? There's been concerns about a hard landing. The concerns are legitimate and the concerns should always be there. Uh, but we're still talking about very, very strong growth. And even more important, we're starting to see, not yet on a year-on-year -year basis, but on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, the economy is starting to show signs of recovery. Some of which shouldn't be surprising. We had the tightening about two years ago. It takes about six to 12 months for those tightening to have an impact. Inflation was a worry back then. Those worries abated. They took some of those tightening measures off and sure enough, six to 12 months later, we're starting to see the economy pick back up. And we're starting to see good numbers on the retail sales front in China. Exports are also up as well. Do you see it bottoming? It could well be. Uh, if, uh, if asked, the, on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, it has bottomed. It's not to say it couldn't dip again, but all said and done, you know, if it doesn't bottom at 7% in growth, it bottoms at 6% or bottoms at 5%, these are still very, very strong numbers uh, compared to anybody in the world. And Rick, outside of the BRIC nations, where else are you seeing opportunities? We like a lot of the slow and steady growers. Such as? Mexico, Thailand, Indonesia, Colombia. Uh, we're also finding very interesting businesses in some of the frontier markets that uh, we don't usually talk about. Nigeria, Qatar, some of the Arab states. Uh, there's some fascinating opportunities outside of the normal, the normal suspects.